Come on in, James. Where are you? It's afternoon. Mm, really? I wouldn't mind staying in your bed all day. Great. Voicemail. <sighs> Marco? Hey, Star. <laughs> oh my god! Hey. What are you doing here? I came for Langston. Hey, I hope the floor wasn't too uncomfortable. Oh, it was okay. For one night. Um, I got you some food. I got uh, whole wheat bread, honey smoked turkey, hot mustard, not regular, and... Uh, Good memory. And three bananas. Thanks. I really appreciate you letting me stay here. Well, like I said, it's just one night. I hope your girlfriend doesn't mind. She doesn't. Really? All right, look. I haven't told her yet, okay? You came back for Langston? Well, professionally. We're going to be working together. I'm now the screenwriter for Vicar Man, the David Vickers Buchanan story. <laughs> You're kidding. And, yeah. And uh, I'm directing. Well, maybe with you two working on it, it'll actually turn out okay. <laughs> no, this is going to be a great opportunity for all of us. Dorian's backing the project. Marco can use this to get feature film credit. David can finally get his 15 minutes for something other than hacking hemorrhoid pads. <laughs> and I can use the script to fulfill my screenwriting requirement at school. That's great. And now with you back on the East Coast, you'll be able to visit Cold Statesville. Well... Actually, what? the movie's being filmed uh, on the West Coast. But you'll still be here, right? Well, they're gonna need me on set. Like, right away. What are you saying? I'm leaving Landview. You're leaving today? I should probably go check in with my parents. I, I can't wait to tell them that I'm directing a feature. Yeah, you might not want to tell them who the writer is. Uh, don't worry, they're past all that. We all are. It was good to see you, Star. You too. Just so you know, Cole and I have kept in touch. Uh, he told me that you guys broke up. And I was really sorry to hear about that. Yeah, I guess a lot has changed since high school. Yeah, you're right about that. I'm really glad that Cole is a friend like you. Well, I'll swing by later with the Vigor Man treatment. We can bounce around some more ideas. Okay, sounds great. Wow. I know, this is all so out of the blue. But I mean, the real reason that Dorian wants me on the project is so that I can keep an eye on David. And to get me away from Ford. And it'll probably push you and Marco back together. <laughs> that would be very Dorian. So what do you think about that? Marco and I are just working together. That's it. Except when we shook on the deal, I kind of felt something. I mean, that's only natural, right? I mean, Marco was my first love, and we're always going to have a strong connection. So why haven't you told Star that I'm staying here? Because I haven't talked to her yet. Oh, okay. Look, I didn't want to call Star and leave her a voicemail telling her that my ex-girlfriend spent the night, okay? That makes sense. I'll tell her when I see her. And by then you'll be long gone. On your way back to Dayton. Right, back to Dayton. Not that I have any more money today than I did yesterday. I don't even have enough for a bus ticket, let alone for other things. Doesn't matter. I'll figure it out. You know me. No, actually, I, I don't know you. I thought I did, but then you dumped me. The girl I thought I knew wouldn't have been ready to do porn to pay for a motel room. Dina, what the hell happened to you after I left Dayton? 
You don't know the half of it. I can't believe you're really going. I know, it's gonna be weird knowing we're not gonna see each other every day. So how long? Oh, I'm just gonna be gone a few months till the end of the school term. It's not that bad. No. No, and um, I mean, unless they need me for post-production, but that shouldn't be too long either. I'm sorry. Hey, it's gonna be okay. No, I don't mean to be a wimp or anything. It's just, it's gonna be like a piece of me is missing. I know. I know this isn't coming a good time with everything that's going on with your life and your dad being in the hospital. You know, I don't have to be there in person. I'm just gonna call and No, no, call no, 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 you have to go. They're gonna want, they're gonna want your opinion, you know? Yeah, but I mean, it's David and Dory and they're just gonna change everything I write anyway. It doesn't matter. Stop. This is going to be so exciting for you, Langston. It's all you've ever wanted, and I want that for you, too. Hey, it's not like you're gonna be lonely, right? You're gonna be hanging out with James all the time. Enlighten me. What happened to you after you dumped me? You just move on with someone else? Oh, I know. There was probably someone else in the picture all along, wasn't there? James, no, there was never another guy. What then? What then? A bunch of guys? Stop it. You know, you know what? Forget it, because I don't even want to know. And besides, you did me a favor. Yeah, a favor. Because if you hadn't dumped me, I might have never gotten out of that godforsaken place and met someone that I actually care about. Someone who actually means it when she says she cares about me. I care about you, James. Please. I never stopped caring. I never stopped loving you. You never stop loving me. How the hell can you say that? It's the truth. That's the truth? Yeah. It's not what you said when you dumped me. You said you didn't love me. No, actually, actually you said you never loved me. That I wasn't good enough for you and you never wanted to see me again. Well, obviously you meant it at the time, so don't you even think about lying to me right now. I swear, James, I'm not lying to you now. I was lying to you then. Sure. I have James to talk to, and I, I can tell him everything. See? It won't be the same as talking to you, though. We've shared so much. All the good things in our lives. And all the not-so-good things. Remember, um, back in high school, when we first started hanging out, and we wrote our dreams on a piece of paper and hid them in our backpack. I remember. I want to make good friends with funny, smart people. I prefer my friends to be unfunny and stupid. Thank you, Langston. Oh, don't take offense. I made an exception with you, BFF. Well, I feel better, thank you. <laughs> Speaking of BFFs, I guess it's kind of different this year. I don't need a whole lot of friends. I just need one really good one. Me too. Aww. <laughs> I wished for a family, and my wish came true. My wish came true too. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Don't get all weepy on me now, okay? <laughs> we're gonna be in touch all the time, okay? We're gonna we're gonna face chat and we're gonna text. We'll call each other. No, we won't. Star. No, I mean we're going to try, but it's going to be hard. We're going to have different schedules and different time zones. I mean, I can barely get in touch with James and he's he lives right across town. Is everything okay with you guys? No, I everything's Fine, it's just I haven't been able to get in touch with him. We keep missing each other. Well, go find him. It'll be okay, all right? I'll be back before you know it. I'm going to miss you so much. I'm going to miss you, too. I love you. I love you, boy. <laughs> uh-uh. No. <laughs> What do you mean you were lying to me then? James, all the things I said to you back in Dayton when I said goodbye... Goodbye? Dini, you broke up with me. 
And the reason why I did that Whoa, was hold on a second. Do you, do you seriously think that I want to hear all this crap again? It wasn't because of what I said. What are you talking about? I had to tell you those things and break up with you because... 